I got myself an international toolbox from Lowe's and Home Depot sells these. It's made in Canada. It's about five feet tall. I don't have the specs right on hand. It has 20 drawers. It has this nice big top half that opens up. It's about nine inches to top, so it's a lot of room in here. It has locks on it. it locks the top box. This locks the whole entire rest of the box. I got this from my hobby room because it has basically has a nice pull-out tray. I can put my RC cars on and I can charge them on this thing. Or whatever I gotta do if I need an extra table. And it has this big drawer, which is my RC semi drawer. I can get the measurement here. I just found my little tape measure. It's 37 and a quarter. A little bit bigger than 37 and a quarter. So well, let me see if I got the tape out and get the full width of this toolbox here. It is 41 and a half. So this is my big um big drawer for um, my RC semi stuff that goes in here. It's full ball bearing. Full ball bearing drawers. It has little clips here you can pop up and that's how you pull these drawers out if you want to pull them out for repairs or something. They have little latches so they go to here it bounces but once you push past it it flips the lever and it locks them in. I got the um, booklet here on it. This is the levers my toolbox has, these flip ones. So once it gets back it pops them over, it latches the drawer closed. Comes with a put booklet how to maintain your box. Uh, I don't think that, that might be the serial number. Um, Home Depot has a whole different number. But it has some nice wheels, you gotta put the wheels on. I didn't put the handle on. And the rest of it comes all together. This is my little drawer I keep all my booklets in. It comes with mats. These are nice soft rubber mats in here. They're not th too thick, but they're about an eighth of an inch thick. I don't know if I can lift one. I have to find a drawer I can lift one up. But they kind of stick in there. See this drawer? It pops. This is my top half. I'll turn the key. Before I turn the key, these handles, it's not too secure of a box if you're going to actually use it out in the shop. It's not that strong. I'll show you a couple different parts. But these handles, you can just pop them out, and then it gives you access back in there. So if you have anything that somebody can, like, specialty tools, somebody can pop down and pull them out if they wanted to. And I flip these handles over. They're the opposite way. And my thing, it has shocks. So you pull down. It's easier than trying to pull it this way. You just pull down. So I pulled these handles out. I flipped them over. So now we open the top. There's the top half of the box. See, what I was talking about, it's not that strong for like, if you're using, this stuff's kind of flimsy, it just flexes, there's no, it's not a snap-on or a high-end box, I and mean, it's kind of flimsy, but I mean, it's good enough for a hobby room at home use, like in your garage, but I wouldn't take it to an industrial job site. I got my chargers all up here, the whole reason I got it, it was for this drawer here, this pull-out drawer. It's not too super strong. I mean, I, it flexes a little bit. It's not like a cheap, cheap box, but it's right in the middle. And see, it has a height, so I can put my power strip I got up from Walmart. Bought this from Walmart. It has USB plugs in here. There are two amps, I think 2.0 amps, both of them. And it has surge protector. It has, um, quite a few different options that this, this thing has in it. So I got this, double stick taped it to the back, run it through. It does. It has knockout plugs. You can actually beat them out before you, um, these knockout plugs here. You gotta beat them out and then um, a sharp metal out there. I went to Lowe's bought this grommet and I had to cut it to fit to shrink it down but I'm gonna go to Ace Hardware Store and see if I can get one that's fully not, I don't have to cut it. And I can just pop it in there and it will stay better than this one. 
it, the holes are not that big. I had a nightmare getting this plug through. I scratched it all up. I had to work it to get it through. So they're not, there's two of them, one on either side. This mat here, it does not come with a top mat. So I had to go to Walmart, sells this mat. Then I got this at Harbor Freight because it's narrower. See, this other mat's that much longer. So you'd have to cut it. This one I didn't have to cut for width. I had to cut the length down. So that sits up here. That's my mat. It doesn't come with it. I'm not too happy about that because this mat's not as good as the one that came with. See so yeah, how I get these little drawers? This is all for my single cell batteries, which I got a whole bunch more. I just got to keep finding them all. My two cell batteries. My three cell batteries go in here. And then in here, it will be my four to six cell batteries, which right now I just got charged and stuff in there. So these, these are what the drawers look like. They're nice wall, ball bearing drawers. They roll in nice. That's a handle here that covers up. It goes over top of the folded half. So it's not super strong, but it's okay. I mean, there's the inside lip. You can see how it slides in that channel. Yeah, and then all you have to do is pull, pull up on this side. It has to go up, see the little ball. So you lift up. And then the other side, you end up pushing down, and you pull it out. And these already come oiled. There's some, some type of light grease on here. Dual stage, so they've gone fully out. If somebody wants to know price, it was $1,129 it cost me. It weighs about 300 pounds empty. But I don't have that much weight in here. You see it's just basically empty. So I probably want to add about 100 pounds. So all together will be like 400 pounds. And when I move, it's kind of easy. Just roll the whole things out. That's my Husky. It has a nice wooden top. I got this at Home Depot. This was like 200 and something dollars. This drawer here is going to be strictly all my drone stuff. All for all the drones. So, and then... This has um, pushing latches. You push it. I'm not quite sure what style this is. Single lock. I was using this for a couple years, and I just I don't have the um, space, so I got the 21 drawer here. There are different sizes. This is the bigger one. And then these are all the same, all the same, same size across. That's my pull-out shelf, which see underneath. It's actually another drawer. So if I wanted to, I could flip it over and actually have another drawer. But I, the whole reason I got it, I wanted the shelf. Because now I can come over here, set my RC vehicle down, and go right up there. And if I have to run leads down, I can charge it. Or I can set it here to pull the batteries out. And then I got all these. Gets down here, these two drawers are the same. Bigger drawer, bigger drawer. And that's the real big one you put radios into. Big drawer, same size, smaller, same size, these two are the same size, these two are the same. So two small, two small, two big, two big, two bigger ones, and one full size one. Which if you go to to like the other toolboxes, they got a lot of big drawers. I want little drawers. See, I got all my little totes in here. This is all my tracks. This is my low siege thing. In the middle I got stuff. And here I got this is gonna be strictly all servos. This is all well a lot of the stuff I'm not quite sure I'm setting it up now. It's just miscellaneous right now. This is all my electrical for lighting. This is all my other electrical. This has a lot of um, plugs, connectors, and stuff. And then this is my miscellaneous drawer, which is this in here is just scrap plastic for um, little projects. Nothing in this drawer. This drawer has my, I guess this is winches and stuff. I'm not quite sure what I'm putting in how, how I'm setting it up. This is my speed control drawer. These are all speed controls and other stuff. This drawer here is my motor drawer, gear reductions. This is my planetaries and I don't know what this is. It must be my three speed transmission or something. Got a whole bunch of gear reductions, all for RC semis and stuff. And here is just the big drawer. 
the specs are online. I'm not gonna really do all the measuring for stuff, but let me see if I can get my tape measure extended here. So this drawer is about, I would say about eight and a, eight and a half inches, or actually eight inches. Let's just call it eight inches by by 11 inches, eight by 11. So if you had any project, the rest of these drawers, I'm not gonna bother measuring out. But um, if anybody wants a nice box for doing RC stuff, see this is about eight and a half inches to nine inches. So you can put your radios up here and charge them. Um, lay them down. I got a lot of room. The whole reason I got the height was one of the reasons. And this pull-out shelf. This thing, I, mean, I think I'm going to always keep it as a shelf just because the fact I can just set stuff here. And that's about it. I'm at, this, this is probably the best lock. I got a whole bunch of other toolboxes I had over the years to, all, to lock this thing. What's upside down? Let me put the key in here. It has all these lock it takes nothing no effort at all whoever designed this i mean all you do is two fingers unlocks them all pulls all the pins up that is like the best design i don't think i've ever seen one that's that easy to do go to here hit the pressure you can use one finger and turn it that's it it just amazes me i have other boxes like snap on and stuff and you got a crank to lift all those pins up and this thing here just it just lifts up with such ease. It's just astounding. That's the best thing I think I like about this lock in this toolbox. It's just, there's no effort. It's just, that's, that's amazing to me. I mean, if I had another box from somewhere else and had that many pins that has to pull up, it has two tracks. One on this side and one on this side. And it pulls it up effortly. It's just that, and it's a half a turn. That's, that's it. Just not even half a turn. Qu quarter turn. And that's locked and unlocked. Just, just no effort. So I don't know if they have lifting springs in the back or something. It's just astounding. I don't think this box here, I got a crank on it. I'll do a video later on. I never locked that box a long time. This is my other stuff up here. I just I have stuff mixed mashed all over. My book drawer. This is my miscellaneous, you know, I don't know, scale and Whole bunch of receivers in here. My GPS units, I got two of them. I got a power winch up here. This is miscellaneous rest of the stuff, sensors and testers and all types of stuff in there. But I got this deliberately to keep my battery separated. I got this little charger I found. I actually didn't realize I actually owned it, so I got that. So the whole thing is gonna help me get my hobby room straightened out. You guys can see how messed up the place is in here. Just Stuff is in boxes and boxes everywhere. As I moved, and it came a disaster. I still have to make more videos up for these things. Now later on, I'm gonna probably upgrade this box here. It keeps my tools in. I'm just gonna probably put a bigger box back here. Okay, I pulled the drawer out for you guys so you guys can see back in here. That's the ball bearings and the tracks. Stool stage. There's the lock in the back. That whole, whole thing there is a lock. Let me get the keys here. Comes with four sets, four keys. Two for the upper box, two for the bottom, but they're all keyed the same. See, that's the lock. It's just effortly easy. And those are the pins I was telling you about that latches your drawers closed when you push them back. That's one there over there too. I'm just trying to see if I can see if there's a spring or anything to help lift it. Probably in this drawer. I was going to take this drawer out. Oh, I don't see anything in there. Looks just like it runs a pipe all the way to the back. Huh. It's pretty simple. I'll have to look into that more, but that's pretty much for the video on this thing. Um, I'm going to put the number, if I can find it, on the receipt for um, so you guys can look it up if you want to buy it. Two, three, four different colors. 
I got the orange one um, because I just thought it looked better than. Let me back up here so you can see better. There's blue, royal blue, red, black, and orange. Um, shops always have red toolboxes, black toolboxes, and sometimes blue ones. But I just figured this one here stands out. It's orange. I mean, it's fluorescent orange, so I'm like, this thing's pretty cool because the fact it's going to stand out completely than a regular toolbox. It doesn't look like I got an equipment shop in the house. So I would recommend uh, probably orange or blue so you don't look like um, you have shop tools in your house. The wheels you have to bolt on underneath. Um, and this whole thing comes one one huge box. So you just... Um, it's all protected with an outside foam, what inside a box. Um, there was a whole bunch of other stuff. So when I had to undo it, I had to peel the box off, take the foam out, or it was wrapped around the whole outside of it, and then um, lay it on its side, put the wheels on, which is in like they were in this drawer with a white piece of paper. So you pull that, and the drawer, um, the tools are the. Um, the wheels and uh, the handle here. That's a handle. I'm not going to put it on, but it feels pretty heavy. Pretty much any of my boxes inside the house, I don't have the handles on just because I can get them snug to stuff. The handles can go on both sides. This side or this side. And then um, the wheels can go either direction. I put the turning wheels on this side because they're. I put them on this toolbox the exact same side so they match. So, hope you guys, um, somebody else buys one of these things too. Oh, the shocks up here, it's pretty, they're pretty good. They're not super strong. One finger lifts it down. But you have to lock it. If you wanted to keep it, just keep it down, you have to lock it. So I leave a set of keys in it up here. So I just take it down. Turn the key to lock it. And you'll probably want to pop these handles out. They just, one in direction, one in the other direction, they pop out. I think you push them from the outside. Somehow you pop them. I don't want to pop them out, but you pop them out and you reverse them. I like to pull down on them. I like to groove so my fingers pull down. Because you don't have to lift the lid. As soon as you undo it, you just tap it and it goes up. It has little booties here. Little rubber booties. That way they rest here. That way they don't bang. So this is the only gripe I have about this box is the fact that it's not that strong. I and mean, it just flexes in and out with ease. I mean, that's about a quarter inch. That's the only thing. If they would somehow double wall this or stiffen this up, I'd give this box a way higher rating. That's just basically this. This the whole thing is what makes me upset is just how flimsy that is. It just flexes. That's it. I mean, that's about it. So you could have put a rib in here or something. After that, I would say I would give this box like 99% satisfaction. Just the drawers could be a little bit thicker. And only drawers you really notice is with the shelf. It flexes. There's no rib in the middle of it. So you can look at the gap here. You can see it flex. So if they had a rib like snap-on boxes, they have ribs that separate shelves in here. That's the only thing. That's, if I want to check, like, snap... Um, uh, let's see here, Harbor Freight boxes about the exact same strength, Sears boxes, so I think they're all in about the exact same category. And there's a little gap here, I mean, they, kind of, they could have seen that a little bit better, top and bottom, but all together, I'm happy with it, it's going to serve me probably the rest of my life, because everything's ball bearing, it's, it's going to be in the house, so... It was worth, to me, it was worth spending $1,130 because of the fact that I'm going to have this thing probably the rest of my life. That was only a Husky one. I got that at Home Depot. I got this from Lowe's. You can get both of these boxes here from Home Depot or Lowe's, and you don't have to pay for shipping. And that one there was like only $200 and something dollars. It has a nice wood top to it. I got it for because of wood top. And this drawer, this box here is ball bearing too. I mean, it's nothing major to it. I'll make a, another video when I get to this box and pull the drawers out. So. Alright, I hope this helps somebody else out there get an um, international toolbox.